Um, but if I'm being real with you, um, while I was there, um, God helped me quickly realize that I had a I had an assignment while I was there, and some amazing, amazing things happened. They had like a desert idol, um, like American Idol. They had a desert idol, um, and I remember like three days after I slept for two days, seriously. And then uh, my office entered entered me in this desert idol. <laughs> um, and at that time, I was in a rap group called Mobsters of Light. That was my first album, Church mm-hmm. Shaker. And um, man, they entered me in this desert idol, and everyone is getting up there doing. Now, here's the thing: like, in Ali Asalim is really is really established, so they had a legit auditorium with legit sound, music, huge stage, and everything. And uh, <clears throat> you had to, you know, just it's just like American Idol, and. I'm seeing all these people doing covers and everybody's loving it. And I'm, I'm like, man, I have to do original music, you know, because it's no one's going to not going to know what you. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of, it's whack for a rapper to get yeah. up there and do a cover. What? I'm not about to get up there and rap nothing but a G thing yeah. or something. Right. You know, a song by Lecrae or whatever. So anyway, I, um, I, uh, man, I had the song called growing pains. It was a song about my life where I talk, talk about my, tough childhood and then how I had to adjust on being a husband and a father in the second verse marriage was was tough for me at first because I I didn't have that growing up and I didn't see it much so I had to learn how to do that and then it and then in the end of the songs it talks about the triumph about how um, I got to where I'm at now and man I did that song when I tell you it had to be at least 500 people in the auditorium nobody was sitting down yeah. Nobody was sitting down. When I tell you it blew me away, a standing ovation to music they had never heard before. But what it is, they felt they felt the spirit behind the song. They felt they they can just I mean, because you know you know I was running all around the stage oh, and yeah. around and stuff. And um I'll never forget the commander, you know, this guy, I mean, you know, probably fifty five year old a Caucasian man and he uh he he said some of my lyrics like when we got done they had the judges had to say whatever and he said there's a part in there that say i might have did what they said i did but i'm not who they say i am Mm -hmm. and he said that man and when he said that everybody went crazy but anyway at that moment i realized less you have an assignment here um to just love on people man you know uh you know i i kind of have this i've been blessed with the ability to just kind of you know um, it's not bragging. It's just a gift that God has given me to be able to make people feel comfortable and welcome, man. And so at that, from that moment forward, honestly, it sucked being gone, but knowing that it was something bigger than just serving my country, which is huge already, but also knowing that you're here to impact people's lives and help other people. That's when I was like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine the look on their face when they, and obviously like, you know, you're an accountant, but I bet there were people that just only interacted with you as an accountant and saw a little bit of your spark. But then when you saw, when they saw you on stage, they were like, they was like that's what? a totally different person. <laughs> and, I, and it's like I transform. You're right. You're right. You know, there was like totally different person. And and over there, you know, I mean, I kind of I kind of hate to compare it to being in jail. Mm-hmm. But when you're deployed, it's almost like being in jail because. You, you don't you can't go anywhere and I mean you're you're limited to the base and so anything can like like to them I was famous the fact that they could go Google me they were like oh this guy is famous but they didn't find that out until after I performed that's when they were like who is this guy and it was actually pretty funny man because half the base knew me and um you know and it was just a cool thing to see but yeah they were like whoa so when people would come to the when people would come to my counter, they'd be like, hey, man, bust the flow, man. We want to hear something. So I'm in my military uniform, like, busting a rhyme, yeah. man, you know. And, uh, look, I mean, thankfully, my supervisor, they were cool with that. They didn't care, you know. They thought it was funny, too. Did I, I'm sure that helped, like, just make the time go by a little faster and make every day better yep. with people, like said, coming to you and knowing that and, like, just, yeah. you know. It did. It did. And, yeah. you know, you give me a platform, man. I'm not really afraid of it. So, I mean, I was standing on a desk and performing, act silly with them. It's just, like you said, helping the day pass. Yeah. And, and every one of us, we're away from our family. So anything that can can that can that ease some of that, you know, yeah. is worth it. 